Hello, this video is Breast Cancer, When to Get a Second Opinion. My name is Marnie Clark and I am a breast cancer coach and a breast cancer survivor. This is an important topic, so if you're wondering about whether or not a second opinion makes sense, or even if you're just thinking, I really don't like my oncologist, this is important stuff and you need to know this. So stick with me right through to the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing some important tips on whether or not a second opinion makes sense. So in a nutshell, here's the sequence of events when you have found a lump in your breast and you've gone for a biopsy. First, the cells from the biopsy will be sent to a pathologist, an expert, and sometimes more than one, for close inspection to see if you have breast cancer and if so, what kind you have. Next, the pathologist will render an opinion and issue a pathology report, and this report forms the basis for most of your treatment decisions. Then, the breast cancer pathology report is sent to your doctor. In many cases, that will be your general practitioner, the person that you went to see when you felt that lump in your breast. More than likely, you will be then sent to an oncologist for a treatment plan. Now all of this varies from country to country and doctor to doctor, but that's kind of the flow of things. Now oncologists can be a tr tricky sort. Some are super warm and caring, will take the time to explain to you absolutely every aspect of the treatment that has been suggested for you and answer all of your questions. That's the sort of oncologist you want. However, some oncologists can be arrogant they think they know everything, and heaven forbid you should question that. I have heard some outrageous things in my years as a breast cancer coach. One story I heard. One woman told me that her oncologist called her a dead woman walking. Now, while it's true that she had a particularly aggressive breast cancer, her doctor had no right to tell her that. How unempowering and hopeless a message to plant in someone's brain. Another woman was told, and I hear this one all the time, that if she didn't follow the oncologist's treatment suggestions to the absolute letter, he wouldn't be responsible for the consequences. One doc said, don't come crying back to me when your cancer returns. Again, what a horrible thing to plant in someone's brain. Some doctors wash their hands of their patients, fire them, in effect, when they find out they are using natural therapies. Sisters, all of this is just crazy behavior and it's not okay. One woman was told that she had a particularly aggressive breast cancer and that she was going to require a mastectomy and radiation immediately. She decided to go for a second opinion and the second doctor told her that what she actually had was DCIS, considered a non-invasive form of breast cancer, stage zero, and that a wait and watch approach was a much better idea. So I'd like to make you aware of a small 2018 study reported in the journal Breast Oncology, which found that getting a second opinion can be quite valuable for people diagnosed with breast cancer. More than 40% of the people in the study who asked for a second opinion had a change in diagnosis. I will link to that study in the video description panel below if you want to read it. Have any of those scenarios happened to you? If so, leave me a comment and I'll reply to you. Now, there are some benefits in seeking a second opinion uh, after a breast cancer diagnosis. If you don't like your oncologist for any reason, or even if you just don't feel like you've got a good rapport with your oncologist, you have every right to seek a second opinion. Um, I say this because this is your life on the line. This is really important. You don't need to please your doctor. He's working for you, he or she. They're working for you, not the other way around. So don't let yourself be rushed. You have time to seek a second opinion. You'll more than likely feel a sense of urgency uh, about jumping right in and starting treatment immediately. I felt like that, so I, I understand that, that uh, position. But in most cases, though, there is time to do some research to to make sure your diagnosis is correct and right for you and that your treatment plan makes sense to you. Uh, and, and this may necessitate getting a second opinion. Getting a second opinion means asking another breast cancer specialist or a team of specialists to review your medical reports and test results 
and give an opinion about your diagnosis and suggest treatment options. A second opinion may confirm your original doctor's diagnosis and treatment plan, may provide you with more details about the type and stage of breast cancer you have, may change your original doctor's diagnosis and treatment plan, may inform you of additional treatment options the first doctor didn't mention, and may recommend a different course of action. So if you're thinking that you would like a second opinion, here's what I recommend that you do. You can ask your doctor for a referral to another breast cancer specialist. You don't need to worry about hurting their feelings. They're more than likely used to this. Um, and if you encounter any resistance, just say to them, look, I'm new at this. I want to be sure that what you've recommended for me is right for my type of breast cancer. Another thing that you can do is to call a cancer organization in your country. They will have a list of doctors and cancer centers that provide state-of-the-art, up-to-date cancer treatments. Um, I would recommend getting the names of several doctors that, uh, and, ho and or hospitals that offer the newest, uh, most effective treatments and have the most experience in, in treating breast cancer. Uh, let's face it, the more information that you get, the better you and the better rapport that you have with your oncologist, um, the better you're going to feel with regard to what has been recommended for you. Um, this is really important. This is your life we're talking about. So, um, you know, if you're anxious or scared or worried that the treatment that you're going to be going through isn't right for you, this can really impact your ability to heal. So take the time. The bottom line is, if you have any qualms at all with regard to what your oncologist has recommended for you, seek a second opinion. They should not be offended by this. And definitely don't allow any bullying from your doctor. Hopefully you will have the first kind of oncologist I described, the warm and caring kind. I have shared these tips with quite a few of my coaching clients who were feeling stressed and very unhappy with someone in their cancer care team. They later told me that changing to a different doctor made all the difference to them. It took away their stress, they regained confidence in their healing regimen, and it was a game changer for them. I created a downloadable resource for you. It's called 21 Things to Do, 21 Crucial Things to Do When You Have a Breast Cancer Diagnosis. And it's free when you sign up for my newsletters. Just go over to my website. The link is down below this video. And you can sign up for it. The sign up form is over on the far right hand side of each page of my website. It's all about helping you through the breast cancer journey so that you can be healthy and thriving on the other side of this. Thank you so much for watching.